Well, hello, 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 and welcome to Ormer's Garage. Today's gonna be a quick one. Today, we're just gonna be going over the procedures in order to change a fuse to repair a uh, faulty cigarette lighter or a 12 volt outlet on a Porsche 911. So on the Porsche 911, I had to inflate the tires. Uh, one of the tires was low on air. Uh, so I ended up going ahead and just plugging in one of these tire inflators into the uh, cigarette lighter uh, port. On the Porsche 997, which is what I have, this is a 997.2, there's actually two outlets. There's a cigarette lighter, and then there's you know usually where I plug, right in the center console, that's usually where I plug in my phone. And then there's another one in the passenger wheel well, um, or the passenger foot well, that um, is you know supposedly used for radar detectors or for your computer if you're doing data logging and things like that. Um, so I plugged this one into the passenger foot well and it apparently blew a fuse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to replace that fuse on this Porsche 911. All right, so we're here in the driver's side foot well and um, this is where your fuse box is located. Um, now I have a cigarette lighter uh, here. So this is usually where I plug in uh, my cig my uh, phone charger. And then there's actually another one down here. That's a 12 volt. And that's the one that's actually out. Um, the way that you can test it is you can go ahead, you can grab, you can grab just your, your whatever device you have, a radar detector, uh, phone charger, plug it in, you know, preferably one with a light, it goes in and it lights up. Now, if I go and I put it, and I put it into this, you know, thing here you'll see that the light does not uh, light up so that one is not working so that's what we're gonna be repairing today so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this this cover and there's your fuses so from looking up the information on this one the 7.5 right there is gonna be your 12 volt outlet that's in the passenger foot well and then this one here uh, your 15 amp is gonna be your cigarette lighter in your center console uh, so today I am, uh, since it's the passenger well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove that one. So pull out the tool, clip it on, pull it out, and hopefully I'll be able to uh, show you here. Yep, that fuse is blown. That should be continuous, that little S in the middle should be continuous and it's not you know it's cracked in the middle so that that fuse is blown now the portion on 11 all of these up here are going to be extra fuses all right so i was having a little bit of trouble removing uh this fuse is what i need so i took out the 10 you know using the tool now i can actually you know get into that and pull that out and that's going to go that's going to go right there i'm going to replace this 10 amp fuse that's just an extra fuse that's there and i'm going to end up going to buy one um so i'll have a spare uh, eventually but if it was your center console cigarette lighter then you would want to replace this one here now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test out this. And the green light is on. So that means that um, the fuse has been replaced and this is working again. And this should be the same procedure, whether you're using this, whether you're using the cigarette lighter. From there, you're gonna replace this little tool. Put this in the bottom. Push up and clip in. And we're good to go. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. It's gonna to be a short and sweet video. I'm just showing you how to replace that fuse so that you can get your cigarette lighter or 12 amp, 12 volt outlet up and running again. So I just wanna thank you all. We're getting close to 2000 subscribers. I wanna thank you for watching. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, let me know if it worked for you. Thank you, you all take care and stay safe.